Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Agile Technical Tester. We are in chapter 2 and now moving to the third segment of it that is 2.3 aspects of code quality where the first tutorial is about refactoring of a code. To understand it better of course we need to first define what exactly refactoring is all about. It is a way to clean up the code in an efficient and controlled manner by clarifying and simplifying the design of existing code and test cases without changing its behavior. Now we do understand team every time when you talk about adding something new to your existing modules probably it would require some updates to the existing code. As we are also talking about continuous integration in short iterations we keep creating different modules but as we add something new to it the codes might require an additional input to be incorporated or additionally modification may be required to make that function work. So when we talk about such things refactoring plays a vital role. In agile projects the iterations are very short which creates a short feedback loop for the team members where short iteration also creates a challenge for testers trying to achieve adequate coverage. Due to the nature of iterations, the fact that functionality is growing, the features are added and enhanced over time. Test cases that have been written for a feature in an earlier iteration often need maintenance or even complete redesign in later iterations. So that plays a vital role when it talks about the refactoring of the code from time to time. Generally, when you talk about starting with a particular process of creating a code and how exactly the refactoring comes into picture, once the user stories are understood and acceptance criteria written for each of them, the impact of the functionality of the current iteration on the existing regression test can be analyzed. So once we have a clear picture of the user stories, we can create story mapping which will help us to understand that how these are interconnected to other modules and other functionalities. Thus, it can minimize your efforts to uh, revise your code every now and then. And refactoring and enhancing of the test may be required at a certain point of time. Teams are maintaining and extending their code so extensively from iteration to iteration and without continuous refactoring, this could be very hard to manage at that point of time. So it's really crucial that when you talk about refactoring the code, it happens from time to time as well. However, we do have a good process to refactor of the test cases at any point of time. So when it comes to the test cases, the refactoring of the test cases can be done as follows. The first step is identification which means identifying existing tests that require refactoring by reviewing or casual analysis. Whereas the second step is anal analysis at all where we generally say analyzing the impact of the change test on the overall regression test set. Refactor making changes to the internal structure of the test to make it easier to understand and cheaper to modify without changing its observable behavior. Following that, you go with rerun, rerunning of the test, checking the results and documenting defects where relevant. The refactoring should not have influenced the result of the test execution. That means no matter what changes you make, what updates you make, the outcome must remain the same. At the end, of course, evaluate, checking the results of the rerun test, ending this phase when the tests have passed a quality threshold defined and accepted by the team. So putting it all together, refactoring requires some uh, evolutionary methods to make sure that you do not put a lot of effort or probably get stuck with that. But time to time, it is equally required to do the same. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.